In terms of the schools, I don't know that we'll have the human resources to go to every school. We, we have uh, been reviewing the plan that they have set forward. Um, as I said, this is not only, it requires a community effort. Um, so it's not only going to be what the Ministry of Health is able to anticipate happens, but we the community need to also take um, an active role in ensuring that we are creating and fostering safe environments and safe corridors for, for children and, and everybody. And I'm not shying away from responsibility, but human resource-wise, we are not going to be able to go to every single school um, across the country and, and, and and, and actually validate physically. We have made recommendations to Ministry of Education. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it can't happen throughout the rest of the of the year, but it's not um, uh, something that we will be able to do before the school opening date. Um, that's one. In terms of what's happening at the airport, I was primarily um, interested in seeing what the flow of uh, persons arriving through the airport was going to be and what um, level of construction has happened um, in terms of the health facility at the airport. So I managed to do both. Um, we had 11 staff working on Friday simply because we're anticipating 60 or more uh, passengers. So the clearance on average after everybody was completed through the Ministry of Health standpoint, it's about two hours to get that process completed of swabbing everybody and going through, the, through their forms um, adequately being filled out. Um, the facility that's being constructed for passengers that would arrive after August 15th um, is almost, I would say, complete, it's about 70 to 80 percent complete. Uh, because what it intends to do is have a waiting area, have eight swabbing booths, have a mini lab, and a clinic area um, at the airport. Um, there is, of course, work that needs to happen in terms of. Uh, customs area, the um, immigration area, I think is almost um, complete in terms of what, what they are expected to have. Um, so from the health standpoint, I would say that we are almost um, complete. Um, I think we have reviewed the process flow. I met with the internal team earlier today to start to finalize how that would flow for Belizeans returning and for uh, tourists once they start arriving in the country.